Hello Taurus, welcome to your July weekly love reading. This is going to be for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for July 11th through July 18th, 2020. This will be a general message, so not all the informations or energies are going to resonate with each and every one of you out there. So please take what does, leave what does not. Don't try to make anything fit. And as always, check your own Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for additional messages coming through to you at this time. Please do note not to make any life-altering decisions based off of a general reading because not all the information or energies are going to be available for your specific situation. So if you're looking for something tailored to you, please do see the detail box below this video for details on how to obtain a private reading. If you're interested in connecting with me on social media, joining my Facebook group, or just connecting and, and following my pages. You can also find that in the detail box down below. All right, Taurus, we are going to take a look now at your past, your present, your future energy between for you, your person, and the energy shared between the two of you. All right, past energy, you're coming through with the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like you were in a position of waiting. This is about divine timing and patience and waiting. Your person is coming through as the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio here. Um, this person had had their emotions. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little turbulent. They were trying to kind of stay in balance, but I do feel turbulation here. Yeah, and the shared energy between you is the Eight of Swords. So there's something that you both kind of feeling stuck in, trapped by, not really able to escape. Feeling really weighed down, imprisoned almost. This could be feelings. This could be another person, another relationship, work. It could be many different things with clarifications as this moves forward. Where you currently are is the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But I feel like you've kind of withdrawn here. Kind of taken a step back. Trying to see things differently. Maybe get some wisdom and knowledge here. Your person is coming through as the Knight of Swords. So I feel like this person's wanting to take quick quick action towards you, but with truth and knowledge, but we will see. Shared energy between you, yes. The Seven of Wands. Um, this is definitely tenacity. I feel like the, you're both trying to overcome obstacles that may be in your way, maybe blocking this path forward. There could also be a sense of defensiveness being shared between the two of you at this time. All right, future energy coming in for you is the Seven of Cups. So there is a bit of confusion, which I'm picking up with that hermit. Like I said, you're trying to get some, some knowledge, some wisdom here on, on how to proceed. Your person is coming through with a high priestess. This is a card of Cancer Pisces. Does not have to be, but this is telling me there's something that's not seen here, not being communicated. There could be secrets being kept from you, you from them. There is just a sense of wisdom and knowledge that needs to be gathered here. Shared energy between you is the three of wands. So I feel like you both are waiting for something. I've got two cards of waiting. Overall energy here is the five of swords. So somebody is acting very selfishly, self-intended, um, really focused on themselves, not taking in consideration anybody else. This is a shyster. This is somebody who um, is cutthroat. They're, they're, they, they place the... the pieces on the board strategically, strategically, excuse me, and use strategy to get what they want. This is a win at all costs, no whole bars kind of energy. The hidden energy here is the three of pentacles. Now this could be representing third party. I am feeling a bit of third party energy here, very slightly, but I am feeling it. But this is also kind of, um, also hearing, what can you invest in? Is this situation worth investing in? Will it be rewarding? Or you could be, and hidden energy here is being recognized for work already put into a situation, into a relationship. Now, I want to go on to record here. Cross watchers, do you understand that my focus is on Taurus at this time? Now, these messages can come in crosswords. You know, this could be, you know, I have said this as Taurus, and this could be you. Or this could be you, and this could be Taurus. Or they could become in checkered. Please take it as it resonates with you. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. So again, how it resonates with you. And last but not least, very important message here that I'm being told to move forward. Understand that time is fluid. So this could be happening 
right now could have already happened or would be happening in the future. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Wands, uh, Cups. So this is somebody who's bringing forward an offer in love or an offer of uh, maybe a peace offer. Whatever that means to somebody that's going to mean something there. All right. So let's take and clarify the cards on the table for my Taurus family, please, Spirit Team. Starting with the Seven of Pentacles in the past energy. What is the Seven of Pentacles energy here for my Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? In love and relationship. Please, for July 11th through July 18th, what is the Seven of Pentacles for Taurus in the past position? Okay. King of Wands, the world, the star. The higher font, you Taurus. Okay, so I feel like there's somebody who um, was very, pa you're very passionate about. You're wanting a new beginning with them. You're wanting to, like the hard cycle to end. You're wanting something to complete and something new to begin. You're really trying to stay in hope and faith. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I'm feeling very strong that this is you trying to remain hopeful and optimistic with the situation. You've been, you're being patient and you're waiting for this. I, and I feel like this is definitely representing you. This could be representing a commitment, but I feel things are not moving. Um, if they are moving, they're moving very slowly. I'm definitely getting stagnated energy and I'm getting um, the juggling act. Um, so I'm feeling like this this is somebody who is kind of juggling two places, two persons, two things. And you Taurus are kind of trying to be patient and wait this through. All right, so what is this Queen of Cups energy? Past energy over here for Taurus this person. Okay, we're getting strength. Could be a Leo. A Leo with that King of Wands too. The Six of Swords. And the moon, Pisces energy. Okay, I feel like this person is dealing with a lot of conflict, and I don't feel like it's internally as much as it's, as as externally. This person's in a conflict, and I don't feel like they're in conflict with you. I mean, there may be a little bit of petty squabblings going on between the two of you, but I do get the sense that this person is knee deep in drama, and they have a lot of fears and a lot of worries. They could be a Pisces. Not, I'm not going to deny that. There's hidden hidden motives, hidden agendas here. This person's dealing with a whole lot. They're they're very stressed out. They're trying to be brave and courageous. There's something that they're wanting to leave over here. This is, you know, past energy, so this would not come as any surprise. This is going to be something that you would already know about, Taurus. I do feel for some of you this is a third party that somebody's trying to leave. They've got their worries and fears along with that, but they're definitely in conflict with this person. Um, and I feel like they want to apologize to you. Because they want to move this forward, but things have not quite completed where they're at just yet. Which makes sense why we're seeing the Eight of Swords as a shared energy. Because I feel like you both are feeling stuck currently. Or that this you feel like your person is stuck. Yeah. Gemini energy. There is, needs a decision to be made. I mean, the feeling of feeling stuck with this Eight of Swords, feeling in that mental prison, is needing to make a final decision. There is a lot of, of regret, regret, sadness, um, emotional turmoil here, heartbreak and pain. Of the high priestess the Pisces cancer energy um there's something there's our secrets there's things that are you know being concealed and hidden here um not everything is being seen or heard there is this lack of stability here because things are not on equal footing all right i'm gonna pull a couple more cards could be dealing with a scorpio definitely dealing i feel like for taurus a lot of you are dealing with a water sign in the tower yeah this part, there's a lot of regrets and sadness. There's a lot of loss and heartbreak and pain in this situation. That tower is coming in. And it's going to shake, you know, both of you feeling the stuff in this. This tower is coming in and it's going to shake things loose. And a final decision has to be made here. So let's take a look at the hermit. Current energy. We're getting the queen of pentacles. The ten of wands and the page of swords. The three of wands overall here underneath the deck um, subconsciously. So what I'm getting is I feel like with, with this whole situation, Taurus, you have taken a step back. And I feel like the queen of pentacles is mainly representing you. Um, if, if it does not representing you, if you're not coming through as the queen of pentacles, and remember masculine feminine energy within all of us, um, so that that doesn't really matter here. This is, a you know, you're a nurturing energy. You are solid and stable and grounded and i feel like this is kind of disrupting that so that's kind of stressing you out but you are definitely trying to seek some knowledge here on what to do i feel like you have withdrawn because this has become very burdensome 
you're kind of looking at your future and trying to now to figure out do you move forward will this reconcile with this you know will there be a new opportunity with this king of cups i really do feel like you're kind of really trying to search out the knowledge of whether or not you can move this forward what is this knight of swords energy for my taurus this person that they're connecting with in current energy please what is this knight of swords Getting the Nine of Wands, the Hermit, Virgo Energy, the Ten of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person is crying as I'm getting, the Wounded Warrior here. They're coming through as the Wounded Warrior, which I feel is like kind of self-made a little bit. They see that you have withdrawn from them and they're feeling kind of rejected by this. They're wanting to kind of come forward very quickly, very impulsively. And try to renew this, re-up this with you. Look at this. Because they feel like you kind of abandoned them at the moment. They want you to be there happily ever after. But they're feeling right now like they've been kind of like shiced it. Left out in, the, out in the cold. And they're wanting this renewal. But let's see what this Seven of Wands is. That is three cards. You have the Divine Feminine. The Eight of Wands. The Three of Pentacles. Look at that. The two, the two of wands. Yeah, a decision needs to be made here. There's obstacles that you both are trying to overcome within challenges within this connection. There is a sense of wanting, you know, the, to communicate about a, and cultivate a brand new beginning here. Something that can be divinely guided, orchestrated, and brought into tangible reality. But it's going to take hard work and dedication. I feel like a decision has to be made. And I don't think it's going to be easy for you, Taurus, because you're taking a look here at this person's deception and you're trying to make a judgment call. And I feel like you're internally conflicted when this offer comes in to you. And I do feel like it's coming in. Um, even an apology for some of you. I don't know that you're necessarily going to jump on it immediately. I feel like, you know, the energy that I'm picking up on is it's going to lead to some of this confusion, some of this worry, some of this anxiety here. Whether or not you're making the right decision. So let's take a look. What is the Seven of Cups? Yep. There's that Devil Capricorn energy. Ten of Pentacles. The Magician. Look. So what I'm getting here is I feel like when you, like you're, there's a sense of confusion for you. This person um, had, if it's not a Capricorn you're dealing with, this person had a toxic attachment. Um, that was very negatively impacted your connection. And they had, for some of you, they had a whole family. Um, you're trying to figure out whether or not if, if this is going to be able to manifest. If this is going to be the, the forever that you're kind of wanting to sign up for. If this person is going to be, you know, bringing you a solid offer or piecemealing you. You know, give, like breadcrumbing, you know, is another word that other people use. But I call it piecemeal because... This person's kind of not being 100% awful. And I, and I don't feel like they have completely wrapped up what they're in in order to give you something solid. So they're giving you something to satisfy. Peace mailing. Peace offering. Or the Ten of Swords. Like, I, I, don't, I feel like you don't know whether or not to trust this. Because things are just not moving in the direction you expect it. Could be a Sagittarius. But I feel like you're trying to temper your energies here. Trying to bring the, yourself into balance to try to figure out your next step, best step forward. Because you felt stuck in this, trapped by this, blinded by this. But I see you coming through right now. Yeah, as the Queen of Swords, you're starting to wake up to realize the truth. You're seeking out the knowledge to clear up this confusion so you can take action. Some of you, that's going to be towards the Eight of Cups, walking away. All right, so let's see this High Priestess. Future Energy for Taurus's person, please. There's you, the higher font. The seven of wands, seven of pentacles, the five of cups, the sun. Yep, they they know they're the high priestess, cancer Piscean energy here. There's something that they want to tell you. There's something that they, you don't know that they've concealed, they've hidden, and they're but they're wanting to tell you they have regrets and sadness over this. There, there is that sense of loss. They want to be happy, but they're afraid if they bring the, bring this offer to you, if they communicate to you, they feel like you're not going to be interested in talking to them or taking their offer. 
they are trying to evaluate the best way to come forward to you. What is the three of wands? Shared energy between Taurus and the person. Two of swords. Four of swords. Yep, five of swords. Page of wands. Yeah, I feel like both of you are thinking about the future. I feel like this person wants to come forward, but again, they don't know how. They're not sure how to proceed. I feel like you both are at a crossroads. There is wanting to heal this connection because again, somebody was a shyster. They know it. They know they screwed up. They're feeling guilty and shameful about this, but they want to communicate with you, but they know they broke your heart. They want to, they want to come forward. They want to broke you know, make this offer to come back into to commitment with you. Um, but I feel like they don't know, yeah, whether or not they are capable of being that life partner that you're that you've set your attention towards that's gonna make you happy. Yeah, and they feel like if they come forward to you right now, you're gonna you're going to not be so interested and possibly reject their their offer here. So they're kind of at that that do I step forward or do I not? But there's that seven of swords. Um, I feel like Taurus you know, I always tell all my my clients that book my readings with me, never give your power up to a tarot reader. And this is doubly true in, in general readings as well. We all know our lives the best. We all make our best decisions. But here is some piece of advice that I'm picking up from the, the energies on the table. This person, as they may have love for you, they are not completely out of the situation even here that they are currently in. And because of that, they're still coming through as with the Seven of Swords intention. There is still some sneakiness to this person. So what I'm telling you, um, what I'm advising you is that if you look at this person, please do so with caution, with your eyes wide open. Be that Queen of Swords, be that Page of Swords. Seek out that truth and that knowledge before you nail anything down. I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to stand your ground and you're not going to let this person move this forward until you have the full truth and nothing but the truth. And I think that's why they're hesitant because I feel like they, they have that knowledge that if they are truthful for it with you about whatever this is for each of you, it's going to be different, that you're going to move away from them, that it's going to be too much for, for you. And, in, and you're, and you know, there's that tower. I really do. I feel like that they're, they're, they know. I think they have this deep knowledge that they, whatever they did here in the past with this seven of, or with this five of swords and that seven of swords, it's going to be too much. If, if you've been in a commitment, this could possibly be a third per party. And yes, I am actually talking this time about a third party person interfering in this connection. For most of the time, third party can represent many different things, but I'm absolutely feeling the energy of a third person in this reading. Whether this person was married and you were the other person or vice versa, there's just something here for some of you, not all of you. If this if you, this is going to resonate, this is not going to come as a surprise. You're going to automatically know, like, oh, yeah, I've already knew this. I already had this net innate feeling about this. So if, they, if, you, this, if you're not already knowing that this person was involved with somebody else, which is couldn't put your finger on it, then this reading, that part of the reading is not for you. This message is not for you. This is going to be for somebody who knows without a shadow of a doubt. Gutly, instinctly, intuitively knows. Third party. Absolutely. All right. That is, unfortunately, well, that I have for my Taurus for the week of July 11th through the 18th. I wish I had better reading for you coming forward. Um, hopefully that next week will look a lot better. If you have not yet done so, please hit that like button so that this helps circulate the video for everyone. If you have not subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button and or consider it at least. So that's the best way for your energies to show up here is to be a subscriber because that is how I set my intentions. Last but not least, please do let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you in part or in whole. I, I love hearing feedback from my subscribers, from my readers, from those that are tuning in. Uh, it helps me judge how well that my readings are resonating. I don't always get a chance to comment back, but I do, do read every single comment. So that is it. That is all for now. Remember to live in light and love.
Namaste. Bye for now. Just going to leave you with that last image. This is what you're looking for, Taurus. You're looking for that life partner, somebody that you can build and invest in and have a solid, steady future. Somebody that's re reliable, dependable, and that's what you want to take passion and action on. That is Spirit's last message for you. All right, that's it, guys. Out of here. Take care. Bye.